And we're back on NBC Tenet Issue. This is the story of a special animal named Logan. Logan served in the Fullcroft Police Department. With me now are Officer Gene Mackey and veterinarian Dr. Ed Darren of the Center for Animal Referral and Emergency Services in Langhorne. Thank you both for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. Gene, if I may call you Gene Officer. Uh, yes. How long did you work with Logan? What kind of partner was it? Logan was a great partner. He was, uh, I had him for four years. Um, he was a great companion to my kids. Uh, all the dogs. So he went, stayed with you. you went he home stayed at home with me, with my kids, and my family, and my wife. Yeah, Logan was seven, right? When he passed he seven away, when he passed. Just a little over a month ago. And our condolences to you and your family. I know that's Thank a hard loss. What happened to Logan? Uh, well, um, basically, one day we at Cares got a call from the Fullcroft Police and said that we've got a dog that, that's having trouble walking. I'm a neurologist. I, I do veterinary neurology, and. Uh, uh, and we said, uh, sure, we'll send him over. And they said that they had, you know, they were going to have some trouble you know, paying for any big procedures. And we said that we would take care of that. And we'd take care of a lot of the other police departments around as well. Uh, and so uh, when Logan came in, uh, he really couldn't walk in any of his legs. Uh, and we determined that there was a, a problem going on with the spinal cord. We did an MRI and determined that he had what's called wobbler's disease. Is Which, that a genetic-based disease, or is that... Uh, in some ways, it's genetic. Uh, it has to do with uh, instability in the cervical spine. So what happens is they get a whole constellation of different problems that can occur, but... It's really progressive. It just gets worse and Progressive worse. gets worse and worse. And what it boils down to is they have compression of their spinal cord that, in many cases, is very difficult to correct with painful. surgery, medication, mm -hmm. oftentimes painful. And how did you notice it at first? Uh, one night at work, he was uh, fine getting, going to work. Uh, hour and a half into my shift, I took him, took the dog out for a break, and uh, Logan's back end looked a little wo wobbly. wobbly. Looked a little wobbly. Uh, I contacted my local vet, who uh, seen him right away, and determined that he needed an MRI. Now, and, and Logan was valuable for a lot of different reasons. Talk about some of them. He was. He was. Uh, he was great with kids. He was a perfect uh, partner. Uh, he was always he was a bomb detecting. He, he was dog. a bomb detecting dog, uh, patrol dog. He uh, we did all the searches, most of the searches for uh, certain schools that had bomb threats or companies that had bomb threats or there was a presidential rooms. visit or a big sports thing. Yeah, political functions. Mm -hmm. We'll have to clear the building first for him before they can come in. Um, he uh, also was a. <laughs> He saved lives, not only in those ways, mm -hmm. potentially, but also he donated blood, uh, you know, to help other, uh, another animal, at least once that I'm aware of. Yep. I mean, so this is, you're dealing with a, a great, great animal here in Logan, and it, it's, it's quite a loss. I know you'd like to, people to be aware of Whopper's disease. Is there anything that can be done about it? Well, there, it's actually kind of controversial in the medical, veterinary medical community, because uh, there is not any real good way of truly correcting it. It's genetic, it progresses, uh, it tends to be a disease that happens in larger breed dogs. Uh, and uh, when, once it starts, uh, oftentimes it can be difficult to reverse. Now there are some different uh, research um, uh, avenues that are, that are currently under progress that basically try to surgically correct the problem, but there's really not one good way of fixing it. Well, um, Logan's loss is a personal loss for you and your family and for the department. It's a loss potentially for safety for Delaware and Chester counties and, and more in the region that you've served with Logan's help over the years. But you also now are asking folks for some help because that means we don't have a dog out there that's important. And there is no tax money available, as I understand it, to right. fulfill or replace Logan. That's correct. There's not right now. There's not uh, money. It's not feasible for the bird to replace the dog. Um, we're asking for help and to replace it, but there's not many bomb dogs in the communities. Well, we're going to get into how people can help and why that's important, more what people can do, how you can help next on NBC Canada.